Hey guys, this is Philip from 3D Printer How To. Today we're going to go through bed leveling on the Maker Gear M2 with a dial indicator and dial indicator mount. Also, we're going to adjust the screw for the Z end stop. Let's get started. The dial indicator mount we created, the link is in the description for Thingiverse, will hold a Mitutoyo dial indicator. It's going to mount right here on this fan. So first, you have to start by taking the fan off. Taking the large fan off. This is simply done by just loosening this one bolt. Pull the large fan out and just leave it to the side for now. You're going to need to use the bolt from the fan. Now that you've removed the large fan, set it on the X rail carriage for now. Next. We're going to have to remove the fan cover for the small fan. Be careful because the fan will be running if the machine is on. Now that you've removed the parts from the fan, it's time to mount the dial indicator holder. Using M3 by 22 bolts, with washers and nuts, you're going to mount it into the bottom two holes of the small fan. Make sure your bed isn't too high so that when you're mounting this, your dial indicator holder is not touching those spots, not touching the bed. I'm going to mount this and I'll be right back. Now that you've mounted your dial indicator holder, it's time to raise the bed until it is barely touching the dial indicator. A useful G-code command to send to your machine is M84 space S0. We'll put that in the description. Basically what that does is it keeps your bed from timing out and dropping to the bottom. Next, once you have raised your bed up to a height where your dial indicator is touching, you'll want to lo lower all the screws to the bottom. The screws for adjusting the bed are underneath and are the ones that have the spring. Next, you're going to want to find the highest corner. In our experience, the highest corner has always been in the front left, so start there. As you can see, we are at about 65 thousandths of an inch at this place. You're going to come to the other side. And see, as you saw, the dial indicator unraveled two and a half times. Therefore, the front corner is higher than this front right corner. So go to the back to make sure this continues. The bed continues to drop as you move in the Y direction. Therefore, the front corner is still the highest. As you saw, the bed increased in height as you went in the positive X direction along the back of the bed, but still not to the original 65 that we had at the front corner. So the highest corner is in the front corner. Now that you've found the highest corner, it's time to start leveling the bed. To level the bed, start in the highest corner and try to make all the other corners the same height as the highest corner. First in the Y direction, and then move back and forth in the X direction. We're going to speed this part up and we'll be right back after we've done so. Now that you've gotten your bed close to about level, we will show you what it looks like. So come to the front corner, please. As you can see, the value of the needle stays at about the same spot throughout the entire travel. Now move in the X direction. As you can see, the needle stays in about the same spot across the entire X direction. It's important to take your time when leveling the bed, as this has a large impact on the quality of your prints. After you've leveled your bed, take off the dial indicator holder 
by reversing the steps you did earlier. Also, reassemble the fans. Now we're ready to adjust the Z offset. To adjust the Z offset, you're going to adjust this screw here up and down. You're going to want to use an M4 wrench to t loosen the nut at the bottom so you can t twist this up and down. Twist it until, adjust the Z height until you can snugly slide a business card under the extruder nozzle. I'm going to adjust this now and then we'll show you the finished product. If you've correctly adjusted your Z offset, when you home the Z axis, a business card should snugly slide underneath the nozzle. That means you are ready to print. Thanks for watching this video on leveling the bed and adjusting the Z offset. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.